Muscle tone refers to the amount of tension in a muscle. Muscle tone is what enables us to keep our bodies in a certain position or posture. Changes in muscle tone is what enables us to move. Low tone is used to describe muscles that have less tension and feel floppy. A child with low muscle tone may need to exert more effort when doing an activity to activate their muscles. As a result, they may have difficulty maintaining a good posture when sitting or standing and may get tired easily due to the extra effort they are required to use. Warm-up activities can help increase muscle tone by activating the muscles. These activities, however, will not lead to a permanent change in your child's muscle tone. Encourage your child to do a warm-up activity before doing an everyday activity. Some fun examples of warm-up activities could include the following. To warm up the body for good posture before a seated task. Bouncing on a mini trampoline. Star jumps. Wheelbarrow walks. Hopping balls. Running on the spot, stomping, star jumps or skipping. Crawling activities such as animal walks or an obstacle course. Tug of war. Ball games. Ball walks. Monkey bars. Prone extension or superman target shooting or ball pushes. Supine kicks. Rolling over a roller or ball. Sit-ups. Bilateral leg deadlifts. To warm up the hands for writing. Squeezing and rolling play-doh. Scrunch newspaper. Squeeze soft balls, sponges or face cloths. Use tongs to pick up objects. Play with spray bottles. Dig in the garden. Arm wrestle. Push against the pier with your hands. Carry shopping bags. Hammering activities. Hand pushes and chair push-ups. It is important to note that children with low muscle tone often require additional input to activate their muscles optimally to ensure that movements are controlled and fluid and that postures can be maintained. With low muscle tone, balance is also often compromised. Children with low muscle tone also often present as lethargic, prop their bodies when sitting, slouch in their chairs, have poor physical endurance and movements can be clumsy. These children further appear to have greater flexibility in their joints. Please remember that while the activities displayed in this video aim to assist children in preparing for seated or writing tasks, these are not aimed to replace therapy and should you have any concerns regarding your child's development in this area, an occupational therapist or physiotherapist should be consulted.